what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are starting a brand new trade series if you don't remember we traded up shoelaces up to these travis scott jordan one fragment highs that we ended up giving away for completely free it's a 4500 dollars sneaker now we're starting a brand new trade series today that may be a little bit weirder than the last we are starting with a cheeseburger and we're going to trade all the way up to jordan two off whites a 1500 dollars sneaker um this is a little bit weirder this is gonna be a little bit easier or harder maybe it's not gonna be this exact burger we're gonna go pick up some cookout or some five guys close to a sneaker store here go inside and see if they'd be willing to trade anything for that they might not want to this may be the most difficult one to start off with because who wants food that somebody else brings them but maybe we'll see um i'm excited to see if we can do something like this so let's go ahead head out and uh i think we'll probably have to cook out because we're gonna get some good food there. We're headed to the first food spot right now, which is gonna be cookout. That is our first choice and try of getting something that somebody might like. That is because it is in the general area of where the sneaker store is that we're going to. Um, this could not work. This could possibly them say, we're really not feeling it. We don't really have anything. We don't want cookout and we're gonna have to go to another place. So we're gonna be willing to do that, but we're just kind of trying to surprise these places. Uh, with this trade because it is odd. I was thinking Five Guys might have been better because Five Guys itself is like a $20 meal if you get a burger and fries. And so that could be some good bargaining, but um, we're gonna try Cookout and then see what can happen. So we just got out of the drive-through. Of course, I'm gonna go with a burger and then I think we can get a couple different options with it, like some Hush Puppies and, uh, and hopefully a decent enough order and a drink as well. Harrison? I'm gonna do a tray with a burger. Uh, can I do a corn dog? Let's do the uh, hush puppies. Okay, what's that drink? Uh, Coke. I haven't ordered a cookout in so long, but I got burger, corn dog, hush puppies, and a Coke. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Coke. So, hopefully they like that. Thank you. Smells good. I mean, I won't be mad if they don't want it because then I got some food. Leo knows nothing about what's going on. We just got in, he opened up early for us. So we are uh, firing up our trade challenge again. Okay. And uh, we decided to pick you to start with to see if possibly this be something. We are trading a cheeseburger up <laughs> to a pair of off-white Jordan 2s. Now, we just went by cookout, we picked out a nice meal, and we're trying to see if, he, it may not happen, it may not be something that you want to do, but if you had anything that you'd be willing to trade for a cheeseburger meal from cookout. <laughs> they could be, Absolutely anything. This we got some uh, a burger, we got some hush puppies, and then a corn dog and then a coke. Okay, okay, okay. It's hot, fresh, ready to go. We picked up, we got this right a minute down the road. Man, let's so see. if there's nothing, that's fine. But this we wanted to try with you, see let, let, let's absolutely see, anything. Let's see what we can do. All right, hold on. Let's see. Let's see what Leo can bring out the back. He's got. That's what I'm thinking. It's gonna be in the back. It's obviously it's not gonna be a boot or anything. And I don't know if he's hungry or not. Cause I'm hungry. If not, I'm gonna eat it. But. Yeah, so we're gonna have to kick it off. People always, people always blessing us, so I'm gonna bless y'all. What do we got? We're gonna, we're gonna start What's that? something. I see the little Supreme logo. You know, you know it's, it's Christmas, you know, so somebody might wanna. That could be cool. You know, we can, hey, we gotta, we gotta set the standard. Something, this has been, been in the back for a while, so, you know. What, is it a mug? Oh, a little mug. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's got to be way more than that, though. Hey, we got to start it off right. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I seriously, he had no clue about this. There's no way. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah man, it's love. It's love. That, hey, that, someone gave this to me. Someone pass it back. There we so go. put it out there. I think. Yes, and I hope yes. you enjoy the meal. Like, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's fresh. It's hot. I can't believe that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're trying to lock that in. I'm like, I thought he was going to bring out, like, some uh, shoelaces like we did last time really, or like honestly the amount of exposure you bring to this store to this brand why can't we give you this you that's know awesome. what i mean so this meal is going to be hidden <laughs> yeah we're excited i hope it's good that. i hope i picked out a good meal you know what i mean but uh we're going to kick off the uh the trade challenge right here so the next store or the next brand y'all make sure y'all do the same 
Awesome, wow. Thank you, man. We got the Supreme. This is the Royal, I don't even know. It's a porcelain mug, so that's pretty cool. If I, if we weren't trading this, I'd say pour the Coke into the mug, but <laughs> we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it for dead stock, but wow. Shout out to Versus ATL for doing that. We'll show you guys some clips of the shop, and uh, that's a funny first trade. The last time, look, he's got the corn dog to go. I need go. this, I'm hungry. <laughs> I need this corn dog. I know, when I was ordering, I was like, I'm hungry too. I was like, I need some food, but wow. Thank you, man. All we're right. gonna check out, see what they got in the shop, and then uh, head to the next spot. Let's go. So we just got in the car, shout out to Versus again. I'm, I'm rocking the hoodie, obviously. We're gonna look this up and kind of see where the value's at. If I had to guess, I mean, that meal costs like 10 bucks. I would hope this is like 25, I don't know. I kind of think it's gonna be like 50, 60, maybe even like 80 bucks. That would be ridiculous. Guys, I swear, we did not tell them we were coming with food and all that, and I just thought this may be a good spot to go to. So the Supreme Royal Delft Beer Mug, that's what it is. Last sale, $69. That's insane. Highest bid, 55 bucks. That's crazy. I know that that's gonna be like insane. Like, why would you trade food for that? He said they've had it sitting in the back. I don't know. That's pretty crazy. So we're gonna head to uh, Full Circle ATL. Now I think they could do something good with this and uh, probably just give us some credit. And we're not trying to push like the trade up. We're just kind of trading this time. We're not gonna be like, hey, we need to get a little bit more and just kind of see where it goes. We're starting in Atlanta and then we're gonna move our way to uh, some other states and stuff like last time. So let's go ahead and uh, move to Full Circle ATL, their new spot. All right, guys, I'm hopping in here to give a huge shout out of the repeat sponsor of this channel, and that is going to be Anchor. If you guys don't know Anchor, they have their all new Mag Go lineup, which is essentially products that are all MagSafe compatible with the new iPhone. And specifically, I talked about before, we have the 622 and the 623, which is here over on my desk. Now, if you don't remember the 622 right here, this is basically a wireless charging device that you go ahead and you place on the back of your iPhone. It magnetically locks in and charges your device just like that. And you can go ahead and take this right here, move the backing and make it into a stand so you can keep your phone standing perfectly upright. Now, the product I want to tell you guys about today is the anchor 623 wireless charges you can see right here i keep this on my nightstand at home at all times it's an amazing magnetic wireless charger you essentially place your phone on the back just like this it magnetically connects and it rotates with the 60 degrees this way and 360 degrees this way so you see your phone at any perfect angle something i also love about these chargers if you have apple airpods you can place them on the back while your phone is charging up here and they will also charge wirelessly it's a super compact and sleek design so it looks really good on your nightstand it just kind of blends in for whatever you're doing and it comes in four different colors like i said black white blue and this purple color right here so go ahead and use the link in the description down below to check out all the different anchor products again this is the 623 the wireless charger over there is the 622 make sure you visit the links in my description down below and thank you to anchor for sponsoring this video made it outside of full circle ATL with our mug so they have no clue that we're here that we're coming they might see us out there but um we're gonna go ahead and see if they're down to trade this we're not gonna say like trade up we're just gonna kind of just keep trading and see where we can go so let's check it out all right so we got over to full circle and uh I was kind of telling them what we're doing we're trading again doing some trade series and we have this royal delft I believe it's called kind of beer glass I wanted to see if you'd be down to do any sort of trade for anything that you guys have in the store kind of come up with a value for it that is the glass there unused Unused. No beer. And, and no beer in it. No, this came out uh, SS21, I believe. So it has to be something that just released. And uh, that was a cool little item that you guys might find something cool and maybe you would have some customers or something like that. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to do like some store credit, we do like 75 store credit 75. or something. In Perfect. There. Yeah, yeah, we'd have something like that. Cool. Let's do it. Thank you, man. It's uh, usually a really good place to find some different things, but we also have to kind of think of where we're trading next, kind of what we're gonna do with that. Cause like you have teas like this, these are like 50, yeah. and then some are like 80, 100, they'd go up. Um, if you remember the video we did here, we got the Outcast tea from the, uh, the Grail wall over there. So we kind of have to find, I don't know, we gotta think, we're, we're going to hype next. So what do you think, Nick? 
I think we probably need, it would maybe look like a Supreme tea. Maybe Supreme, yeah. So we just kind of found this one on the shelf at 80 and it said we can go 75, 80. So this might be a good option because where we're going, they are really mainly like shoes instead of clothing. So we're gonna look around a little bit more, see through if we can find anything kind of like that, but we'll see what we can find. Young All right, so we got the pair out right now. I just pulled it out. It's a 13C. So what's that considered? Baby sizing or? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, probably. Retail, 85, so it's five bucks on a retail. This is obviously not a size that everybody's going after because it's more of a kid's shoe, but uh, if you guys are down to lock that in for the uh, new beer mug, just lock it in. We gotta see you guys chuck a beer out of it though. Hold on, we, got, we might have one in the back. <laughs> if you wanna undead stock it. Yeah, everybody has like one o'clock on a Tuesday, just pound a beer. What is life? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we just finished up trade number two. We got the uh, All-Star Weekend Jordan, Jordan, Nike Dunk Highs, and uh, these are 85 retail, so it's below retail. This is a hard size, but this will be better than I think like a vintage shirt for the next store we're going to. So we're heading back into the city to hype 24-7. Uh, Hopefully, they'll be down to trade. Maybe not, but we'll see. We're obviously here for the trade that we just did, but we're also bringing a few other pairs by. I have my Amam and Nier Jordan 1s and these Jordan 4s I got for uh, Sophie, but we're gonna try to side swap those and also trade this in. So it's hopefully they're down to do all these trades. Uh, they have an 11 and a half my size in these, so we should be good on that. So we'll see what happens. All right, Khan, so we have another trade series. We're trading from a cheeseburger to off-white Jordan 2s. We've already started the base. We've already started the trade process. And we're actually we're a couple trades in already and wanted to see if you'd be down to trade. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And uh, we have a pair of all-star Nike Stone Cold Pops. 13 C. So we're just looking maybe to trade for uh, something you have, could be a shirt, uh, some shoes, just try to make our way to some different trades. Because we don't sell this size in it, but I can trade you a shirt. A shirt maybe? Okay. You say you said to typically do these sizes because this is a hard size to sell. It's a technically like a yeah, preschool we don't size. Sell, like, toddler. toddler, yeah. All right, so let's see what shirts you might have that we could uh, do some for. What like, did you get to him? Uh, we had. A... Probably somebody gonna need it. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Lock them in. Thank you, Don, as always, being a part of it. You owe me another one. Yeah, I, I owe <laughs> another one now. Um, we got these. Uh, All right guys, we just finished up. We side swapped the two pairs there. I paid him for the side swap just because that's kind of how it works with the stores. But we got the Eric Emanuel shorts, which are really cool. These are like a hundred bucks. Actually, look them up in the car. So I'm trying to find these shorts on StockX, but they come out with so many that I don't know if they'll be on here. The average price of like the one with like the double E's on it, um, kind of like the mesh short, is about 95 to 100 bucks. He had them in there at 150. So I think they're probably worth about 100 bucks, but that's solid. Uh, that's a hard shoe size for them to go with, but he says he's gonna give them to his niece. So like, oh, there they are right there, 100 bucks. If we go to a size XL, it's $100, so pretty cool. Um, I actually need a pair of Eric Bender shorts, but gotta figure out where we're gonna go next for this trade, because I think this could, I think a lot of stores might be interested in this, but it's a kind of a weird one also. So I'm hungry now, I need cookout, I need myself a cheeseburger because we got rid of it earlier. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do now.
guys, we just got over to Soul Street over in Buford and we have the Eric Mando shorts. We're gonna see what kind of trade value in the store that they have, nothing crazy jumps, just like what trade value they give us and see what we can do with that, maybe get some other shoes and then move on from there. So let's go ahead and see if I had to guess, probably around 100 bucks. All right, guys, we just got over two souls for me. He kind of saw my Instagram story where I was talking about we traded up from a cheeseburger. And he's like, you guys are really trading from a cheeseburger. And so we brought him what we have, the most recent, which is a pair of Eric Emanuel shorts. And uh, just kind of want to see what you have value-wise on them and see if we can just get store credit maybe for uh, whatever you value these at. Thinking that I'll probably value them about like 150-ish. 150, 150. So I could probably do like 150 store credit 150. on it. Yeah, because like after fees, they're like 140 something on StockX. So I think that kind of weighs out. So if you're down for that, we'll kind of look around the store and uh, see what you guys got. All right, cool. All right, so we were looking around a little bit and we looked kind of in like the uh, women's and like smaller sizes. We were able to find a pair of the uh, metallic purple ones at about 150. So uh, they're, I think that's a pretty solid option. I think that's the best we're gonna get besides going like the clothing route. And uh, there are some other shoes and like the smaller sizes that we could do, but I think this one is good. I like this colorway, it's a one. So I think he said that this would probably be something they're down with. So what do you think? Is this cool with that? Yeah. I, think I, think, I mean, it matches this too. Yeah. It's pretty fair. Those go for about 150, those are about 150. So uh, if you're down with that, we'll lock it in. Yeah. Keep it moving. Thank you, appreciate sure. that. It's always been a part of it. We'll get some shots of these together. All right, so we just got the metallic ones. Now, these were at about 150. On StockX, are about 148. Those shorts on StockX are like 100 flat, so uh, I think that's pretty solid. And this was obviously store credit. We didn't ask for any like crazy favors or anything for that. So we're gonna try to kind of keep doing that. Maybe for some of these trades, we'll have Nick go in and try to get the trade so that it's like, they don't even know who I am. So we'll try to maybe do that in the future or maybe go to some pawn shops, something weird. So uh, we're gonna go back and do a little recap. All right guys, so there is the ending shoe for the first episode. So we started at a cheeseburger, we ended off on this. Now, I know that first trade is a little bit bigger of a trade than even we were intending as like, I don't wanna say like no to it. That's like the hard part, but we really are trying to go by store credit from now on with these shoes. So like it was $150 store credit for the Eric Emanuel's and we got these. So we'll see where the series goes. We're gonna try to do it in not too long, but also we're gonna be mixing it up. Like I said, maybe getting Nick in there involved. So we will see what happens with that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.